Kutam Pokuna, twin ponds or pools, are well-preserved old bathing tanks or ponds in Sri Lanka. This pair of ponds was built by the Sinhalese in the ancient Anuradhapura kingdom. They form part of the Abhyagiri Vihara complex and are an example of the works in the field of hydrological engineering, architecture and art of the ancient Sinhalese. On a map of the Abhyagiri Vihara complex over 30 bodies of water can be counted. The largest of these is the Edh Pokuna, Elephant Pond. The Kutam Pokuna are located on the eastern edge of the complex. Not much is known about the history of these ponds. They are generally believed, according to whom, to be built during the reign of King Agabodi I of Anuradhapura, 575-608, the Central Cultural Fund, Colombo, Sri Lanka, however, names the 8th or 9th century as the time of building. The name Twin Ponds is misleading, because they are not of the same age. The smaller northern pond, see below, is said to be older than the larger southern pond. The compound the two ponds are built in a 0.91 meters 3 feet deep rectangular depression lined with a low wall. Five short stairs led from the ground level into it. Next to one of these short stairs, in the northwest corner of the compound, a stone spout protrudes from the wall. According to older descriptions of the twin ponds, the spout was supported by a small sculpture of a lion. However, in recent photographs, there is no sign of such a sculpture. The spout is the overflow of a small cistern on the other side of the wall. The ponds, the larger, southern pond is 40 meters, 132 feet, by 16 meters, 51 feet, while the smaller, northern pond is 28 meters, 91 feet, by 16 meters, 51 feet. The depths of the two ponds is 4.3 meters, 14 feet, and 5.5 meters, 18 feet, for the smaller pond and the larger pond, respectively. The space between walls surrounding the compound and the two ponds is 18 feet, 5.5 meters. A parapet was built around each of the ponds. The faces of the ponds are cut granite slabs as are the bottom and the sides of the ponds. The ponds are made wider at the top than at the bottom, giving them a stepped slope with steps too narrow to descend. Flights of stairs are seen on the northern and southern ends of the ponds. The southern pond has an additional flight of stairs on the western side. Unlike the other stairs, these do not protrude from the side of the pond. The stairs lead to the bottom of the pond and are decorated with punkalas, or pots of abundance, and scroll design. Punkala of North Pond Punkala of South Pond Although the ponds look very much alike at first glance, there are marked differences. The punkalas of the larger pond are more ornate, for example, and so are the banisters of the stairs, see below. The sides of the large pond also have terraces on several levels, which are broad enough to walk or sit on and can be reached from the stairs. The northern side of the small pond is adorned with a sculpture of a five-hooded cobra, Naga, under an arch of makaras. Another makara shape can still be recognized in the nearby stone spout. 